Scripps Health is confirming part of its system is restored following a debilitating malware attack almost three weeks ago. As ABC 10 News reporter Jennifer Kastner reports, the hospital still won't say whether patient records were stolen. Despite the news, several patients reported Thursday afternoon that they are still unable to access the MyScripts patient portal system. A small sigh of relief for some providers and patients after Scripps Health posted Thursday that part of its network is back online after an almost three-week hiatus following a major cyber attack. We want to inform our patients that Scripps.org has been restored. While some features on our website are still being worked on and are not quite ready for use yet, most of Scripps.org is back up and running. Multiple sources inside Scripps Health have told ABC 10 News that they now have access to read-only medical records dated before May 1st. Read-only means you can't change it. Expert Mike Hamilton with CI Security said Thursday that the hospital could be doing that to serve as a standard for unaltered records to see if at some point their integrity has been compromised. That's what it sounds like to me is that they have brought back some functionality in their electronic health record system, probably with a backup of records, and they don't want them changed because they want them to serve as the, um, the source of truth for what an unaltered record looks like. Sources inside Scripps have told ABC 10 News that some units are able to access x-rays, some computers are working, but they have limited access to information, and some employees can access some email and payroll systems. The hospital still hasn't said who may be responsible for the malware attack, whether records were compromised, and if there's a ransom. The fact that we haven't heard anything about a ransom request just means they're not sharing information, doesn't mean it, it hasn't happened. A hospital spokesperson said Thursday that there are no updates to share and they are not taking interview requests at this time. The FBI said that it had no comment. Jennifer Kastner, ABC 10 News.